So we've got um, a couple of types of leather here. Um, I use various different types of various different shoes. Uh, some of the earlier ones use just a, a natural leather, maybe with a waxy finish. In fact, a little bit more water type. And when you stretch them, of course, they, they change colour. This is also quite a thick leather, quite good for boots. We have thinner ones, uh, which are chromium tanned, hence the, uh, hence the, the, the white edge, because the colour doesn't go all the way through when you chrome tan something. The natural colour for a chrome tan piece of leather is um, silver grey. With a, with, a, with a vegetable tan leather, it's brown. Uh, similar, to, similar to that, really. Um, again, with this one, chromium tanned, you can see the white centre. Nothing wrong with it, it's just a modern method. Instead of taking months, it takes days. So it's a lot faster, it makes the leather cheaper. Also, there's different types. This is called a new buck, which has not got a shiny finish on at all. It's actually quite soft. Um, we have polished finishes like this one here. The, uh, the, the fashion for polished shoes came in in the 18th century. And uh, the boot polish was not invented until the 19th century. Almost as good as the French inventing the tin can and not inventing a tin oven until 100 years later. <laughs> okay. These are also new bucks and soft. Yeah. Uh, they're really good if people have got, uh, if you know, think like bunions or uncomfortable parts of the feet because it really gives. The only problem is they do stretch. <laughs> you have thicker stuff, this is, you know, this is almost three millimeters, getting very good for medieval boots. Not much good for things like uh, the later shoes because it's not what they would have worn. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there you are. Also, things like yellows, yes, <laughs> yellows and uh, reds, good, good. bright red, yeah. lilac. Yeah. Yellows and reds, very cheap colour to dye. Is it? Yeah. In fact, they're the cheapest colours you can get. Okay. That's why the British Army used red. At the end of the English Civil War, the new model army. They chose red because it was the cheapest dye. And a lot of the uniforms you see, especially in the Marburian period from the UK, will have red and yellow. The Gordons. <laughs> it's cheap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> ruins, yeah. ruins any thought about hiding the blood stains, really, doesn't it? Uh, obviously, uh, the darker the colour, or the more rich, rich the colour, mm -hmm. blues and purples, were well, actually very expensive and hard to dye. So were blacks. Mm -hmm. So, normal people from yeah, like myself, a shoemaker, or, or yourselves as normal guys, would not have had jet black anything. Okay. They would have been dark grey. Because it's cheap. Yeah, you have to keep repeatedly dying to get dark. Darker and darker and darker. And purple especially. That's why the Roman emperors wore it. It's so expensive. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's why it was the imperial colour. Some of the some of the other leathers I use, uh, like this one. This is what I use on the Napoleonic soldiers' shoes. Is um, what we call combat leather. It's actually got a plastic coating on it. Mm -hmm. Now I make them with that on the outside, rough on the outside, because they didn't finish the leather because it makes it cheaper. Yeah. So you walk around with what looks like a proper uh, 19th century pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. and in fact, <laughs> modern leather makes yeah, them waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't get wet feet. <laughs>